in the poem to the twice there are different types of poetic devices or literary devices those have been used today we are going to discuss what are the different literary poetic devices those have been used in the poem the twice as you all know there are different type of um, poetic devices line break or simile personification alliteration imagery repetition metaphor so we are going to find out what are the different poetic tools or devices those have been used in the poem the twice uh metaphor in this poem the twice is an important metaphor on the first hand it hints at the twice of the boy right so what is the hint here it is the twice of the boy at the same time it refers to the earthly joys human beings are attracted to so that's why it is a metaphor and as we know metaphor mean the comparison between two unlike things without using like or else besides this device is also used in the line i struck him and dismissed with hard words and unkissed here petmore compares hard words to an object that is used to beat someone so a uh, metaphor is used and especially the word twice by itself is a metaphor and then i struck him and dismissed with hard words and unkissed anaphora first and foremost thing uh, what does mean by anaphora it is the repetition of words or phrases in a group of sentences clauses or poetic devices and especially these are used in the beginning of the lines this device is also used in the following lines of the poem a box of counters and a red veined stone a piece of glass abraded by the beach the first both is a box a and a piece this a these both a's are the example of anaphora so anaphora is what it is the repetition of words help words or a phrase or phrases in a group of sentences clauses or poetic lines so here th this is the example of poetic lines and this is the repetition and this repetition should be in the beginning of the lines another is personification we all know when we talk about personification it mean humanly attributes those have been depicted in non human beings it is used in red vein stone it is used in red personification is used in the red vein stone and said heart petmore describes the stone with human attributes in the second expression he invests the heart with the emotion of sadness sadness irony let's take what does mean by irony it is the expression of one's meaning by using language that normally signifies the opposite means when you say something and the meanings are opposite to it typically for humorous or emphatic effect this is called irony this is what expression of one's meaning by using language that normally signifies the opposite here the last line i will be sorry for their childishness this childish okay ji it contains situational irony why it is situational irony the pet more speakers could not forgive his child's mistake but he was thinking the opposite of what he had done and he believed that he was not forgiving his child on committing his mistake but at the same time he believed that almighty will forgive him means for himself forgiveness and for his child there is no forgiveness so this is irony like you are saying something else for others and for yourself you are expecting something else enjambment enjambment is a figure of a speech which is very common um quite commonly in use um especially in the poetry 
Enjambment from the French meaning are striding over. Its meanings are is a poetic term for the continuation of a sentence or phrase from one line of the poetry to the next. Uh, when we talk about the enjambment, so keep it remember enjambment line typically lacks punctuation. Usually when we talk about enjambment, it means the I one idea which is continued into the next line. And for showing this continuation in the first line, um, no punctuation mark has been used. So that's why the same idea has been moved into the next line, right? At this at its line break, so the reader is carried smoothly and swiftly without interruption to the next line of the poem. Let's check. Petmore uses this device throughout the poem to internally connect the lines. It makes reader go through the lines at go in order to grasp the overall idea. Example from the poem. I stuck him and I dismissed. I uh, see after here, after dismissed, no punctuation mark has been used because this idea is smoothly moved into the next line. Uh, with hard words and unkissed here, the um, comma is used. Uh, it means the here at least one idea has been completed. So please, this is the example of enjambment. When one idea swiftly moved into the next line, or continuation of one idea into the next line. And usually, um, uh, in first line, we, by the end of first line, no punctuation mark is used. Um, imagery. When we talk about imagery, without imagery, um, nothing is possible because imagery is what images it relates to images maybe mental images or maybe other type of images and as we have already done that imageries are of five types like as many senses we have as many types of images we have so when we talk about the twice this poem it is full of imageries word twice little sun thoughtful eyes darkened eyelid kissing away his tears shells bottle with bluebells these all are the examples or what these all are the examples of imagery and there are other images as well so uh, here today we have basically discussed different um, figures of speech or poetic devices those have been used in the poem the twice thank you